good morning students today our topic is pair of linear equations in two variables in that assignment number 2 first question for what value of p the following pair of linear equations have infinitely many solutions he is given the linear equations px plus 3y minus p of minus 3 is equals to 0 12x plus py minus p is equals to 0 so given linear equations are what are the given linear equations px plus 3y minus of p minus 3 is equals to 0 12x plus py minus p is equals to 0 see children we should compare these two equations with the general equation what is the general equation compare with general equation so what are the general equations a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equals to 0 and a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equals to 0 so compare first equation with this general equation and second equation with second general equation so now write the coefficients of x y and constant of these two linear equations therefore what are the coefficients a1 is equals to p b1 is equals to 3 c1 is equals to c children here the c1 is minus of p minus 3 the whole part the whole term is a constant term so minus of p minus 3 and in second general equation a2 is equals to 12 b2 is equals to p and c2 is equals to minus p so in the problem what he is given the pair of linear equations have infinitely many solutions infinitely many solutions so the linear equations having infinitely many solutions so what is the condition for the pair of linear equations in two variables having infinitely many solutions so if the ratio of coefficients a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2 this substitute these values in that condition so p by 12 is equals to 3 by p is equals to minus of p minus 3 by minus p see children here you should compare these two or these two whatever it may be you should take then i'll compare here these two equation these two conditions that is a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 therefore p by 12 is equals to 3 by p do cross multiplication then p into p p square 12 into 3 then p square is equals to 12 3 is how much 36 see as a sentence square to right hand side then p is equals to plus or minus root over 36 therefore p is equals to plus or minus plus or minus root 36 value is 6 right so take uh, a p value is plus 6 or minus 6 then the condition will satisfy second problem
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू द पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगुलर फ्लॉक पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगुलर फ्लॉक is 32 meters if the length length increased by the length is increased by 2 meters and the breadth is decreased by 1 meter the area of the plot remains same find the length and breadth of and breadth breadth of the plot See children, what he is saying? He is given a two conditions, right? By using those two conditions, see children, the perimeter of a rectangular plot is 32 meters. If the length increases by two and the breadth is decreased by one meter, the area of the plot remains same. See, if the changes in length and breadth, then also the area is remains same. Remain. Same. So find the length and breadth of the plot. So now the solution. Length. Length of. Rectangle of plot. Plot is equals to x meters. Length, breadth of rectangular plot, y meters. Right? See here, I am, I am drawing a rectangular plot here. Plot means it is a plane area. This is a rectangular plot having a length is equals to x meters and breadth is equals to y meters. Length is equals to x meters and y is equals to breadth is equals to y meters. See children here. Now area of rectangle. Therefore area of rectangle is area is equals to length into breadth. That is x into y. meter square right and perimeter perimeter is equals to 2 into l plus b length is x and breadth is y in meters see children the already the perimeter of a rectangle is given how much 32 how much 32 is equals to 2 into x plus y then center to this side And 32 by 2 is equals to x plus y. 2 ones are 2 twos are therefore x plus y is equals to 16 meters. Now this is equation one. See children. Now
If length is increased by 2 meters and breadth is decreased by 1 meter, then the area will remain same. Right? If the length is length is increased by increased by 2 meters and breadth breadth is decreased by decreased by 1 meter the area remains same the area remains same see children here then now the new length new length is equals to x plus 2 meters and new breadth is equals to y minus 1 meter y minus 1 meter therefore area is equals to area is equals to length into breadth only length into breadth therefore area is equals to length is x plus 2 into y my breadth is y minus 1 now the area remains same then what is the area of this plot is x into y right so x into y is equals to x into y x to y and x into minus x minus x and uh, plus 2 into y 2y and 2 ones are 2 plus into minus minus 2 see xy xy get cancelled then send them this time minus x send them to left hand side then plus x and minus 2y is equals to minus 2 then this is equation number 2 from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 right therefore x plus y is equals to 16 x minus 2y is equals to minus 2 that's all children these two if you are subtracting then the signs will changes right so see children xx get cancelled y plus 2y is 3y is equals to 18 3y is equals to 18 therefore y is equals to 18 by 3 this is 6 meters so y means a breadth is 6 meters then substitute y value in equation 1 y is equals to 6 in equation 1 so substitute in equation 1 x plus y is equals to 16 then x plus 6 is equals to 16 then x is equals to 16 minus 6 10 meters see children x is the length of the rectangular plot and y is the breadth of the rectangular plot right so therefore length 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 x is equals to 10 meters and breadth breadth y is equals to 6 meters Next problem. Question number three. Five pencils and seven pens together cost fifty rupees, whereas Seven pens seven pens 
सेवन पेंसिल्स एंड फाइव पेंस टूगेदर कॉस्ट कॉस्ट फोर्टी सिक्स रुपीज फाइन कॉस्ट ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ वन पेंसिल एंड वन पेन see children what he is given the five the cost of five pencils and seven pens together is 50 whereas seven pencils and five pens together cost is 46 find the cost of one pencil and one pen now we don't know the uh, cost of one pencil and one pen let it be taken as x and y solution let cost of one pencil is equals to rupees x let cost of one pen rupees y see children by the problem by the problem what is given cost of cost of so by the problem the cost of five pencils and seven pens is equals to 50 rupees 50 rupees so five into one pencil cost is x 5 into x plus 7 pens so one pen cost is y so 7y is equals to 50 Let it make it as equation number one. Now the second one, the second one, seven pencils and five pens cost is forty six. So seven pencils plus five pens cost is forty six. Therefore one pencil cost is x. So then seven pencil cost is seven into x plus One pen cost is y. Then five pens cost is five into y is equals to forty six. Let it be make it as equation number two. See children, we are writing together both the equations. Then five x plus seven y is equals to fifty, and seven x plus five y. Is equals to forty. So let it be. We solve these two equations by using elimination method. Then we are eliminating first y. Then we should multiply with the y coefficient five to equation one and y coefficient y seven to equation number two. So we should multiply with the equation one into five and equation two into seven. So we should multiply all by Five and into seven. Understood, children? Here yeah. we should hold the equation. First equation is multiplied by five, and second equation multiplied by seven. Then we get five five is twenty-five into x plus five seven is thirty-five into y. Plus five fifty is a two fifteen. This equals to two fifteen. Again, we should equation two is multiplied by seven. Seven seven is a forty nine. X plus seven five is a thirty five. Y is equals to seven forty six is a three twenty two. See children, now I am solving these two equations. Then we are subtracting equation two from equation one. So now the sign, signs are changes. See, twenty five minus forty nine, then twenty four minus twenty four 
x here these two plus 35 minus 35 get cancelled which is equals to or 250 by 322 2 and uh, 72 minus Therefore, x is equals to minus 72 by minus 24, minus minus get cancelled, then 3. See children, x value is 3. x value is the, pair, the cost of 1 pencil. The cost of 1 pencil. See, x is equals to a 3 rupees. 3 rupees. Substitute. x is equals to 3 in equation 1. What is the equation 1 here? 5x plus 7y is equals to 15. 5x plus 7y is equals to 15. We are substituting in place of x is 3 and 7y is equals to 15. 5 3 is 15 plus 7y is equals to 15. Then send the 15 to right hand side. Therefore, 7y is equals to 50 minus 15. Therefore, y is equals to y is equals to 15. 7y is equals to 50 minus 15. That is 35. Therefore, y is equals to 35 by 7. So 7 ones are 7. 5 is 35. Therefore, y is y means the cost of one pen cost is five rupees right therefore cost of one pen pencil is equals to three rupees cost of one pen is equals to rupees five Next problem. Question number four. What are the methods for finding the solution of a pair of linear equations? in two variables see children he is asking about the solution to find x and y values solution of pair of linear equations in this sense solution of pair of linear equations in this sense we are finding x and y values what are the methods we have what are the methods we have in our textbook we have graphical method and algebraic method and one more method is there that is model method right so methods of finding methods of finding solution of pair of linear equations in two variables are what are the methods first one 
this model method and second one is graphical method and the third one is algebraic method in that algebraic method there are two methods are there sub methods what are those means one is substitutional method and the second one is elimination method these are the methods to find x and y values or the solution of pair of linear equations right Thank you students.